Let's factor using the distributive property. For a quick recap on distribution, the distributive property is when we multiply a single term across a group of multiple terms. For example, this 3 would multiply to the x, 3x, and then to the 2 to give us 6. So 3 times x plus 2 distributes to give us 3x plus 6. Now factoring is the complete opposite of this. We're going to take something like 3x plus 6 and instead of multiplying something in, we're going to take something out. In this case, the 3, which would change to 3 times x plus 2. So we can distribute or we can undistribute factor back from whence we came. So to factor using the distributive property, find the greatest common factor of all terms, factor by dividing out the greatest common factor, and once you have your answer, you can always check by distributing it out and see if you get back to what you started with. Okay. So the easiest way I've found to learn this is just do a ton of examples. Let's get started. Here we've got 8x plus 12. Now what does 8x and 12 have in common? Well, the greatest common factor of those is 4. Now if I divide that out from here, I'm going to be left with a 2x plus and 12 divided by 4 will be 3. And there's my answer. If I distribute that out, that's going to be 4 times 2x, 8x, plus 4 times 3, 12. We are golden. How about 15a squared minus 5a? First, what is in common between 15a squared and 5a? Well, I can see that we've got a 5 between the 15 and the 5, and then a squared and a both have an a in common. That's going to leave us with 3a minus 1. And you can see that dividing that 5a out, 5a times 3a gives us 15a squared, and then 5a times 1 is going to be minus 5a. Perfect. Oh, this is crazy. All right, let's see if we can do this together. First, I see that we have a 2, an 8, and a 20. Well, all of those have a 2 in common as their greatest common factor. Next, moving on to the a's, I've got an a, an a squared, and an a cubed. Well, the greatest that's in common is an a. I can't do an a squared because this doesn't have enough a's. So I'm going to take out the a. Lastly, let's try these x's. I've got x squared, x cubed, and x to the fourth. Same thing, the greatest that's in common is this x squared. All right, now that we've got that, let's see what we're going to be left with. Well, I took the 2 out, I took an a out, and I took out an x squared. Since everything's being divided out, I'm going to be left with a 1. Here I've got an 8. I took the 2 out from the 8. That's going to leave us with plus 4. a squared, I took out an a. We're left with 1a. And for this x cubed, we took out an x squared. That's going to leave us with 1x remaining. Lastly, we've got minus 20 here. Taking that 2 out of that minus 20, it's going to be minus 10. Then we've got a cubed. We took out an a. That's going to leave us with two a's left, a squared. Lastly, this x to the fourth, we divided out an x squared. That's going to leave us with two x's or an x squared. All right, let's check this. Well, I have two ax squared times 1, that's 2ax squared. 2ax squared times 4ax, that's 8. a squared, x cubed. Lastly, we've got minus 2 times 10, 20. a times a squared is a cubed. x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. Golden. B-E-A-utiful.